Allora, Blading, Blading Chats with Derek Anderson. Oh, you're already here. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, let's wait like a couple of minutes for the people to tune in. And uh, by the way, how's life? Everything's fine. Grande David, come stai? You what up, G? So today, we guys, <laughs> yo, John, we're going to talk with Derek Anderson, a man who doesn't need an introduction, uh, super hardcore street skater. Um, he lives in um, California, and we are going to talk with him about the situation of uh, the coronavirus in uh, Fresno, I believe he's from. Um, what is going on in Fresno and uh, like what is like the, the, the current situation about the governor in, in California uh, and also like about the, his pro model who like um, was and has been introduced at the Winter Clash this year so yeah I'm looking forward and I'm pretty excited about this one because it's, it looks pretty pretty cool and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to to ask him a couple of questions Derek is one of those people who can jump like two meters high. Like, um, there are like only a few people that can uh, jump as he jumps. Like, uh, mm, Montre, uh, Frankie, Demetrius, George, and Derek. And so I was like, I'm looking forward to see like if he trains to like do to have these hopes and uh, or like if he comes like. They came out like a naturally and stuff like that. And also, it's pretty um, active uh, within skating with his uh, with his own daughter. So um, it's pretty cool to see like a, a blader um, with that talent showing it like to her to, to his like daughter and like and see how loved her daughter has uh, of like on a, his father skating and stuff like that. So yeah, this way is going to be pretty pretty interesting. If you guys have any question, just type them. Uh, Type them here on the comment section. I was watching earlier um, the Alex Nunez video and Austin Paz did um, in 2013. Man, that guy was on another planet, right? What's up with you guys? Fiera del vinile e pattinata prossimo anno. <laughs> Sicuro, 100%. Qua non facciamo più un cazzo. <laughs> I'm switching from Italian to English with my all my homies from Italy. So if you guys need anything about what I'm saying in Italian, I can tell you about it. Grande Bibi. John, what is going on right now in Florida? Espanol. Dude, I wish I was able to speak Spanish, but I'm not, unfortunately. I'm half Italian, half Filipino. That is why I don't know any, any, any Spanish. Even if I look like, um, I mean, many people told me that I look like, um, like a South American guy. But, uh, yeah. Oh, really? Damn, did you guys steal everyone outside? Damn, that's the worst part, man. Yeah, that's definitely the worst part. People shouldn't be outside, man. It's crazy. Uh, and, and also earlier, dude, I was watching um, 34 Degrees. No fucking way. Earlier... Damn, like, I was watching this Derek Anderson profile. Oh, little, little blurry. There are no signs in this one, but, like, man, this one was crazy. Look at this gap, dude. Look at this gap. It's unbelievable. Yo, what's up, Kirill? What's up, my brother? Look at this nine. Boom. 
Damn, Derek. That's some serious stuff right there. It's crazy how, like, you were flow in here? Dude, you should have, like, you should have received that promo, the, like, back in 2009 already. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we are going to talk about this, this promo stuff, like, in, in a minute. I'm so excited. There are no music because probably YouTube uh, shut it down for some reason. But yeah, this one is totally nuts. Boom. Damn. And it's pretty cool because you... Yeah, true. Damn it, YouTube. <laughs> uh, it's crazy because here you're showing not all like crazy ass like uh, uh, hammers, but also super technical stuff. Damn. Dude, I wish to go skating one day with you in a skate park. And um, and I wish to, I would love to see if like any skateboarders come at you and complain about the wax and stuff. <laughs> Yo, what's up, John? From damn, look at that, crazy. Oh, this one is incredible. Royal to royal to royal. Pam, pam. Um, shit. And this one, this one is unbelievable. Puck. The song of the Megadeth was um, Tornado, of, Tornado of Souls, right? Too bad that they shut it down. So what time is it? Uh, it's three minutes to eight. So let's wait a couple of more minutes. And then uh, we can start with our blading chats. Damn, like those red Genesis, they look so good on you. <sighs> Crazy. And this one. <laughs> Damn it. Flying over the park. Yeah, that was crazy. And there's also this one. Uh, yeah, I was watching this one earlier. Wow, this one is unbelievable. Seven out. Which we pop song. Four. Damn. Oh. Yeah, true, so awesome. Charles Van. So yeah, it's uh Almost eight, one more minute, and then we can start with this one. This full cavalier top so is something else, man. Bam! We wind out. Shit. So, yeah, it's already eight. We can start our. Live stream with Derek. Yo! Yo, what's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Fine, fine. Thank you so much. How's the weather right now in Cali? Ah, it's off and on, dude. Sometimes it's oh, sunny. Yeah. Sometimes it's raining. Oh, damn. But uh, it's uh, gloomy right now, So, but no, oh. but no rain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're in Fresno, yeah. don't you? Yes. 
And how, uh, what out. is going? What, what is going on right now within this uh, uh, coronavirus situation up there in Fresno? Oh, man, it's different for us because uh, we're in Central California. So places like L.A. and the Bay Area, we're like a week or two behind what they're doing, it seems like. So they're shutting it down. They're taking it real serious, and it hasn't happened here yet, which is kind of sad. Um, it needs to happen, you know. Everyone needs to start taking this shit a little more seriously. I was out, I was out yesterday at Lowe's. I was going to get some stuff, working on some projects for the house, and uh, there was so many people in there that I just left. Man. I was like, I don't even want to do this. I I couldn't believe it, man. So cool. It's, uh, it's day to day for us. It changes. <laughs> it, it's crazy because it seems like everywhere, like it happened the same thing everywhere. Like in in the very beginning, nobody really care about what is going on. Yeah. Then like a bunch of people are starting to get worried, and then like when they see the numbers, like when like it's coming like at you and it eats you, like everybody start to freaking out and start to to panicking because of the. Uh, they see like uh, how uh, crazy and how fast this virus can spread and how dangerous actually th th this virus is. So yeah, it's pretty right, crazy. Yeah. Like we only had like 20 cases right now, so people just aren't taking it serious. Mm. But uh, the way people are out and about, it's going to spread so quick. Yeah, just, and, uh, yeah. And it does. It does. I mean, like we <clears throat> here in Milano, we under like totally underestimated, and like we were like, yeah, fuck it, it's going to be just the flu. We will be around, no problem. Right, right, right. Um, but then, like, after two weeks, like, everything collapsed. Right. Lots of deaths, unfortunately. And, um, and, and here right now, we are going to be in this lockdown situation for, for at least, like, in the best scenario ever, <clears throat> the 4th of May. That's what they're saying for us, May 6th. Mm -hmm. But they just put it as a rule. The shelter in place is actually now a rule as of yesterday, I believe. So it was just a suggestion before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, okay. Like, like, stay in, you know, don't spread this. But now I guess it's a rule. So Makes hopefully sense. people start taking it more serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and like, I was like, because just like you were saying earlier, like um, from California, I always know uh, the Bay Area, San Francisco, San right. Diego, and all that. Like, what is going on? Like, what does it feel like to grow up in, in a city like Fresno, which is like a, like in the center north of California, from what I've seen, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like central ag country. Mm -hmm. Basically, all all of central California is basically big agriculture. So okay. it's really flat. It's really flat. Not a whole lot of skate spots. <laughs> um, and then you know, LA and the Bay Area are like complete opposites of what we live in. It's more of just a smaller towns. A lot of ag, a lot of farm. Um. You know, football teams, that's the pride, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, yeah. It's, 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 it's much different. And did you play what, football? What people expect. Uh, no, I couldn't. Uh, I had some heart surgeries around football season. Oh. I wanted to when I was a kid. Damn. So I just took up wrestling instead of football because it was the next season. Really? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And, like, um, what are you doing for a living? I always wanted to ask you that because Gregory told me something, but, like, um, I run a printing press. I've been printing for like the last 13 years. And are you able to work right now within this situation? Ah, dude, it's day to day, man. I'm working like part time mm -hmm. right now. So I don't really know. I'm going to have to pull some tricks to keep us afloat, you know. <laughs> going to have to pull out a refinance or something. Mm -hmm. What's up, baby girl? You want to say hi? Come here. You want to say hi to everybody? Hey, hello. How are you doing? Good. It's my friend Jason. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> you can hang out if you would like. I'm going to sit with that. Okay. All right. Here's my Great. crazy dog. Yay. Get it. Get <laughs> That's awesome, man. Stop <laughs> it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. this time with the family, <laughs> man. I mean, life's always so crazy, you know? It's kind of slowed down, and... I, I don't know. I'm, I know it's driving a lot of people Traffic. crazy, but I could use a little more Traffic. of it. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, yeah that's basically... The, the only thing is the work, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that's it. If I was, like, knew I was financially secured, I would just not be working right now. I would true, just that... be hanging out at home, man. <laughs> true. 
<laughs> but like, do you think that like uh, the, the, the California state is going to help like the people like you within some, uh, I don't know, some uh, governal something, well, checks or something like that? Well, the, uh, there's a, the, the unemployment is good. If you want to just, uh, if your job closes, and um, you want to be on unemployment, it's actually better than it was. They're giving them more money, I heard. Mm -hmm. But for someone like me who our, our business is essential, we print a lot of information about COVID from companies that come to your mailbox, and we print a lot of things for political people, but the work isn't there. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, like we're, we're all, we need to stay open, but the work isn't quite there to keep us super busy, so... For me, it's like, I wish I could just quit and go on unemployment because I'd probably be all right. True. But uh, I also need to think about trying to keep my company alive so I have something to come back to. <laughs> you know? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I can't just like for six weeks be on unemployment and then don't mm -hmm. know what to do after that. Yeah. True. 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 You could have yeah, been like, so. um, yeah. Yeah. I, I was telling, I was, uh, yeah, just like I was talking with uh, with Gregory the other time and he told me like he also has like a lot of friends on the same situation. And it's like, uh, it's pretty tricky right now for everybody. Like, um, everyone's financial. different. Exactly. And financial here in wise. Yeah. Here in California, like everyone you talk to has a different financial story. Mm -hmm. Some people are perfectly okay with being able to just go on unemployment and it, it works for them. It doesn't work for me because my wife's pregnant. Oh, really? Yeah. Congratulations, we're, uh, man. Yeah, we're yeah we're due in uh, July. Whoa, so, awesome. <laughs> so, if, so if I quit my job, I don't have the good health care. Yeah, true, true. So I'm trying to keep that, you know, too. And that's you know, a lot out of my paycheck. So. <laughs> but, so like, but, then I, but then I have a buddy who's working full time and he's doing fine. And his wife's able to work from home. And then I got another buddy who owns a, who owns his own painting company, and uh, he said he's kind of struggling. So, yeah, everybody. But yeah, it's just it's just different, man, for everyone. Mm, looks like man, I'm I'm yeah. really I'm really hoping that you're able to 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 get through it like uh, with no problem. And again, congratulations for yeah, the yeah. second the second. Uh, is it like a boy or a girl? Oh you're... no, it's another girl. Really I'll make, awesome. I'll make, I'll make ten girls, bro. I know. <laughs> I just oh. know it, dude. Awesome. <laughs> I know I'll make 10 girls if, if uh, we try, you know what I mean? Man, like, and it's so cool to see how you guys are hanging out together at the skate park. So, like, how she's helping you with filming you and stuff yeah. like that. Man, that, that's yeah. awesome. That's really yeah. something yeah, to take as, as an example, as a, as a father wannabe, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, she's, she's great, man. I got, I got to love you. She's a she's a great kid. Changed me so. Awesome. And how old is she? She's six. She just turned six. Oh wow! Wow. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. I have a six-year-old. Doesn't even seem real. She's swinging on her swing right now. I'm like, ah, oh. man. I was like, <laughs> when I was talking with Greg, we were like um, talking about like project, video project, and stuff like that. And he told me a little bit of you that you're working. 40, 50 hour per, per week, and then you come back. To, yeah, 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 right. But then, like, you come back home and, like, get your time to the family, and also you're able to go out and shred those spots within, like, uh, with no problem. How did you, like, did you train or, like, did you just, you're in a mission? No, no I've always been like that. I mean, mm -hmm. I've always just, I always can get clips pretty easy. It's just, it's just finding the time to skate. You know, and uh, yeah, I was driving up to Long Beach. I had one day off, and so I'd drive up to Long Beach. I'd leave at four in the morning, get there at eight, nine, Damn. skate for four hours, and then drive back home. And I did that like two weekends in a row. And I told Greg, I was like, I'm done, bro. I can't. <laughs> Dude. I was like, I'm, I'm toast, man. Dude, they bad. Uh, Greg's been super cool to work with. I mean, uh, it's it's really my fault that we haven't met up more. He's he actually is more available and helped me out a lot more than I thought he'd be able to because that he travels a lot. He's always working on projects. Um, and I just really appreciate him, man. He's been, he's been doing a great job of us trying to get together and trying to make this happen. <laughs> I'm looking forward to see what is going on because like, yeah, I'm stoked too, man. 
I'm stoked to you guys together, man. It's going to be it's going to be pretty dope. Unfortunately, yeah. with this situation, I would say like it's quite hard to 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 get some stuff, right? But then, like as soon as yeah. everything is done, yeah. And, I, hope, uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't wait to show people, man. It'll be cool. Man, I'm looking forward for it. And like one of the things that I was saying earlier, like within your in, in my introduction, like I'm always been amazed about like how uh, high you're able to jump. I, just, I can recall only like a couple of people who are able to jump this high, Frankie or, or Demetrius right. George or, or Montre. And like, what about like, and you of course, and like, do you train to jump this high or like it comes out like naturally? No, no I think, um, I don't think it necessarily comes naturally. Um, it started for me when I was a kid and I was really young and I was going out skating with the older guys and they were skating real handrails. And I was like 10 years old, you know, <laughs> the handrail was up to my neck, you know, <laughs> and I would just sit there and, and just, I mean, for hours, just trying to get the rail. And it would literally be to where like the point where I would lock on the underside of the rail. Damn. And that's how I, how I would start. I'd be like, okay, my feet are up there, you know, and then it just kind of gradually work my way over the top. But that's the thing. People think I can jump high. I, I can't jump high. Nah, like, I can't, you know what I mean? Like I can barely dunk on like a high school or a elementary school net. You know what I mean? Really? That's not like, yeah, that's not hops, man. It's just, um, it's really learning how to bring up your feet and using your body weight to roll over. And there's just all this technique that's in it. It's, it's just something that's I've done since I was a kid. And so that's mm -hmm. what I was telling the, um, I don't know if you know the Arvinites, they were like a little crew around Bakersfield. Mm-hmm. The little kids that are shredding around Bakersfield. Have you seen them? No, I haven't actually, unfortunately. Oh, the the Arvinites, they're like a young little crew, and they're asking me, like, how you jump so high? I was like, it starts right now. I was like, hey, <laughs> jump on that rail, man. Just start, <laughs> just start trying to make it happen, you know? Because that's <laughs> what it is, man. I can't really jump any higher than anyone else. It's just uh, more like a body contortion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, you know? talking about uh, Gregory again, he told me that, like, when he was – uh, when Frankie used to skate a lot, he told me this. He told Gregory the same thing. Like Frankie was able to jump high in sense of the body control. He was like, um, yeah. I, I don't know how I can explain it, but like he told me, like his abdominal, he contracts his abdominal in a way yeah. he was able to lift his like both of his feet in the same and a, and a, an amount of height that he was needed. Yeah. So that is why he, he looks like he was able to jump this high. But then, yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. You learn how to bring your feet up, and you have to hit it at an angle with enough force to roll on top. That's Damn, that's, that's, that's like that's, a, a proper tips. <laughs> you have to trust yourself. You know, you got to know what you can do, mm -hmm. and you just hit it, and you'll, yeah, just do it over and over and over. It's just like a muscle memory thing. <laughs> oh, we do have, <laughs> also have a, a comment here from uh, Erica. He's, she said, uh, he's been modest. He's like a gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my wife. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, with that, with that, uh, with that. You know I can't <laughs> jump. <laughs> no, with that being said, jump. like, um, uh, you've been skating for, like, uh, from, from razors, from what I've known, at least for, like, 11, 12 years, right, don't you? Maybe, maybe more, more right? Than, more than that. Yeah, yeah, I've been skating razors um, probably about, at least 15 years and then wow. i've been riding for the team for like 11 years probably man like the edit that I, was, the edit I was showing earlier the the megadeth song uh, banned by youtube yeah. dude it's unbelievable how like it was like a flow edit for me it could have been like a pro edit like like releasing nah. a pro model or something like that man <laughs> I hate that. I hate watching all my old edits, man. No, nah, come on, man. I don't. I don't like most of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are. They're pretty good, in my opinion. In my opinion, okay. if I can say that, they were like pretty nuts and pretty cool, man. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate it. But <laughs> yeah. I hate watching the style, you know, and the just yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and what about with intuition? Because like you also skating for intuition skate shop, right? Intuition was my first sponsor. It was the first person to even care because coming from Central California, it wasn't like the Bay Area. It wasn't like down south where, uh, you know, a lot of more famous people were doing stuff and filming stuff. We were just kind of – the whole Sec9 crew was, like, doing crazy stuff, but we were just in this town of nowhere with nothing to skate. And 
it took a long time for any of us to get noticed mm -hmm. because of that. But uh, Matt was the first one. I went and skated a couple times in Bakersfield. <clears throat> um, the S9 crew would go down there and skate with the Bakersfield crew, and they had cool spots. And so we did that a little bit. And uh, I, I don't even think I had a conversation with Matt. And one day he called me and just said he wanted me to ride flow for the shop. And I was like, dude, that was that was the coolest thing. Like, I still remember <laughs> the feeling, you know, like, I'm sponsored, shit. <laughs> and, then, and then Matt's essentially the reason I got on Razors, because uh, shop flow through Razors. So they started to know me. And then um, the flow edit, I guess, is when I was actually on Razors. So, then. Yeah. It's a cool so story. I've been skating for, I've been skating for like twelve years before I even got a sponsor. You know, wow. So like yeah. you, you started skating like um, mid nineties, mid nineties or something like that. Yeah, uh, ninety six. I was seven, eight years old. Yeah. Damn. Damn. It's been a long and, time. And how was the scene back then in Fresno? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was so young that um I I just skated this curb outside my house by myself. Um, my my brother and his friends would go out and skate, but you know I was the younger brother. I wasn't cool, <laughs> so he didn't want to hang out with me. So I would literally just skate this curb every day after school, the same curb, until my mom yelled at me to come inside. <laughs> That's awesome. And I, and I did that for about the first year. I skated just a curb, <clears throat> and, like, and I loved it. <laughs> what about your brother? Does he still skate every now and then, or he no, stopped? no, no, no? He stopped. Yeah, he was he was really really good back in the day. He had like a real Josh Petty looking style. He did big stuff, you know. Yeah, he was he was really good. But uh, yeah, he's just old and his knees hurt. He don't he don't want to do that shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But then like I bet that like you could be like uh, how like how was his reaction when like you showed him his yeah your uh, pro model was it like a uh, shock or or happy or. Yeah, he didn't believe it. He kind of just texted me and was like, is that your skate? I was like, yeah. And he's like, shit. <laughs> That's pretty much all he said. Like, Damn. All right. <laughs> he shouldn't quit. Huh? He, he shouldn't have quit, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he was he was really good, man. He was, um, yeah. My brother was really good. I mean, that's why I started, because I seen him doing it. Mm -hmm. But then he just like was like, I don't want you hanging out with me, <laughs> 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 little brother. You know? so yeah, I true. On myself, it was weird. And then, um, how did you come out with the with the, like the idea of doing like a black and, and red skate? Like, did you uh, was it like your idea or like you talked yes. with Jeff and, and and Andy about it or? No, no, they wanted me to do colors. <laughs> they wanted more of a colored skate, and I told them there's no fucking way anyone's going to buy a metalhead colored skate. <laughs> I was like, this is what I want. And I told them exactly what I wanted, and they gave it to me. So I'm nice. like, I I'm, I'm excited because I'm not a flashy guy. And so like that, just all black skate with just a splash of red is like my dream, you know? Uh -huh. it's, it's very simple. It's very straightforward, and I love it. And I just thank them for like trusting me because they were like, At first, they were like, I don't know, man. We need to do some more colors or something. And I was like, no. I was like, you made me do colors. I don't want a damn skate. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want to skate. Dude. <laughs> yeah, but Bro. that's true. Like from a from somebody like from a guy like 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 you who really likes uh, metal and stuff like that, it wouldn't right. be like worth it. Like having like a, a flashy colors. Uh, yeah, I don't want I don't want something really over the top. You know, I want something basic. I mean, who doesn't like an all-black skate to begin with? And I didn't want to throw too much on it so that people can still personalize it, you know, because I know people love doing, you know, anyone that throws red frames on it or even just red laces is going to be different than the next guy's skate. And I think mm -hmm. that's cool. You know, people really like to personalize it. So oh, I want to keep it simple. And uh, me, I'm not going to personalize it. I'm going to keep them just like that. Just like that. That's, cool. that's my dream skate, all black. <laughs> That's that's yeah, great. Cool. You do also yeah. have like a lot of uh, appreciation here. One from Dean um, from Switzerland. He said like very well deserved, Derek, and like um, that Thank one you. from Matteo, good friend of mine from uh, from Italy. He says like um, your pro model is pretty cool. So like you see like people just like awesome. you were saying, people do really like the the simplicity of of your skate, yeah. and they do really appreciate it. 
I, well, I appreciate that, man, because I wasn't sure, you know. Um, it's hard when you put out a pro model. You don't know what people are going to say. I mean, there's always someone that doesn't like it. True. I saw, like, one or two comments. They're like, oh, this is just too simple. It's, it's like, but that's what I wanted. <laughs> exactly. As <laughs> long as you are happy. Saying. Exactly. Yeah. I've never been a guy to wear the fancy clothes and the, do the cool tricks, you know. I just oh, kind of be you. I mean, that's all you can do, man. And that's the skate that I dream about right there. They're like a Slayer album cover, you know, <laughs> just a splash of red on it. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty awesome. And, um, yeah, with that being said, like, is there, like, when they're going to be released? Like, originally, they should have been uh, released in May, right? The, we're, we're still hoping for May. We're still I, – I just talked to Jeff yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been telling people the end of May, and he said that's about correct. We're hoping still awesome. for the end of May. So I remember when I was at Winter Clash, mm -hmm. and we released the skate. He handed me the skate and said, hey, look, you know, you can uh, release it. But uh, China went on lockdown yesterday. So the skate was literally in production or started going into production, and then they locked it down. So, mm -hmm. um, But, th but there's, they're still hoping for May, so I hope that's it. So am I. So am I. Yeah, so they, man. They look like uh, super dope. I can't, yeah, I can't. I can't wait. I only have one new one. You know, the one I took home from Winter Clash. Uh -huh. That's the only one I got. I got my beat up old prototypes. That's <laughs> it. So I'm like, I want that other one. You know. <laughs> yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. And like, what, what did you think about the Winter Clash? That was your first Winter Clash, right? Yeah, it was. It was awesome. Did, did was, you enjoy the, the vibe? Yeah, I know why it is the way it is, man. You can't, you can't get away with that in America. The amount of partying and just how <laughs> shit-faced everyone was, dude. Like two bars inside the skate park. You can drink outside. You go to the bar over here. I mean, that would never fly in America. Damn. And, that's, and I think that's why Winter Clash is the way it is. It's just so intense because everyone's just like letting loose, man. <clears throat> It's awesome. I remember we went to the bar across the street and the dude didn't care that people were on top of the bar dancing. <laughs> he was like hyping them up. Like, yeah, yeah. We we're like, what? This is crazy. Yeah, true. true. This is so like, awesome. Yeah, this is like one of the, the main characteristics of the Wind Clash, like how people can get wild and like it's nobody crazy. really care. Yeah, no, that would, that would never fly here. <laughs> Could be kind of, kind of tough, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, that was your first time here in Europe as well, or not? First time out of the States. Damn. Yeah. How did you like it so far, Holland in general? Like, the fact that, like, you're able to go around and, like, uh, uh, not you, but, like, in general, you're able to uh, roll up your joint and smoke it around with no problem and stuff like that? Well, you can do that here, but I, but I don't smoke, so it doesn't really affect me. Mm -hmm. Um. But I just hated the traveling part, man. Taking 20-something hours to get somewhere, that is like, damn. damn. Yeah, I started, oh, man, I started at like 3 in the morning and drove to LAX, which is like five hours. And then, oh, yeah, it was just horrible. Long journey. <laughs> yeah, it was a super long journey for me, man. It was so hard. And then I always got stuck in that seat between two big people that are like snoring, you know? <laughs> and I'm in the middle, like just can't sleep. It was horrible, man. <laughs> But when I got there, it was like awesome. So, are you going to come back next year? I don't know, man. I got a I got a new baby on the way. I'm not. True. I'm not. I'm not really sure. Definitely. I'm not really sure. I would love to, but um, yeah, yeah we'll just see how it goes. Because I didn't even have the vacation to go there mm -hmm. um, from work, but my work told me like just go <laughs> i was like all right cool and they're like we'll figure it out because i was out of vacation time but that was awesome of them they're like yeah true i was like oh hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> but like is it like um are they going to pay like when you're going in vacation like your job is like going to pay your your days that you're out or they're not going to pay you your vacation days um they didn't pay me my vacation days they just let me take the days off because i was out Ah, really? Oh, damn. Yeah. So they Because, let me have the days off, which was cool. Mm -hmm. Because here in Italy, like, when you're, like, an employer, like, when you're working for someone, like, you yeah. have, like, a certain amount of days you collect yeah. through the year. 
and then like yeah, they can pay you. Them. Oh, okay, okay. I already used them, so I was already out of vacation, paid vacation. <laughs> and then win uh, Winter Clash, they're like, all right, dude, it's cool. Just just take off, but we can't pay you. I was like, all right, that's fine. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> yeah, I'll um, go. It, it was pretty cool seeing you finally. I was like uh, super excited and super <laughs> pumped. <laughs> oh, same here, man. You, I, I feel bad that one time you hit me up and said you were in San Diego and wanted to skate. Nah, no problem, no problem. I was like, damn, I wish I could be there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no problem. I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm making like a, a um, California journey. Um, this year, one part will be uh, during the dating cap period. And then also next year, like if, all of these things will, will be done and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to go up north, like coming from L.A. up north to Bakersfield, to Fresno, to, to, to visit you and then go up there to, to, yeah. to San Francisco because I'm, I, would do, I really would like to do like a video skating those legendary spots through the whole state of California as well as skating with the, with the most uh, iconic people from California like you, like awesome. Gregory and, and John and Jeff and, and all that. So. Hell yeah, man. We'll put you up. Yeah, <laughs> will be great. Will be great. And um, you just, you just gotta wake up at like six o'clock because there's a bunch yeah. of kids here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And um, so yeah, with that being said, like, do you have like any up and coming project? Just the one I've been working on with Greg for a while. That's 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 been my main focus. Awesome. Um, yeah, we're not able to skate a whole lot, but we've been skating. We've been filming for a while, so. Um, Razor sent me like a really, really early, early prototype because I, I contacted him and said, "Dude, I need a lot of time to do this. You know, I can't, I can't film this in a month. It's just not going to happen." So, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I've been working on, man. Awesome, awesome, great. So I'm really, I'm really pumped to and like really excited to to see it coming out. Looking forward to to see like those uh, Corona situation uh, um, going down. So. We are all yeah, yeah. first thing first to skate, and then like to, to see the release of this project and uh, the release of your skate because yeah, uh, yeah, I can't wait, man. Greg's so good that it doesn't yeah. matter what he does; it's gonna be good, you know. <laughs> My skating can suck, and Greg will make it look cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He's the magician. <laughs> he is, man. He's good at what he does. So, yeah. Great, great. Wow. So, D, um, it has been like a pleasure to me to have you here on, on this blading chats. Uh, do you really like um, thank you for your time that you gave me on on this uh, Saturday morning? And um, I'm looking forward to see you soon, uh, either here in Europe or like in the United States. And um, so, yeah, thank you so much for uh, for being here. Yeah, no, thank you, Jason. I ain't, I ain't doing nothing else, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're just chilling. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, um, say hi to the family. Stay safe. Uh, try to um, chill as, as much as possible. And, and like I said, oh, there you go. There you go, guys. There you go. That's about it. That's the only one I have. <laughs> the good one. That's the only one I have. <laughs> so... Boss, thank you so much. Um, looking forward to see you soon. And yeah. All right, man. Peace. Peace.